guys, today I'm going to show you how to play Roblox using a keyboard and mouse and that will allow you to play some computer games and also you're going to be able to play all Roblox games using a keyboard and mouse to hopefully improve your experience a little bit. So, um, I do want to say that this will only work on Android devices such as an Android phone or an Android tablet and this video in specific, I'm going to be using the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus and I did try this on iPads um, and I'm assuming this will apply to iPhones as well but you cannot play Roblox using a keyboard and mouse while if you have an Apple device well an Apple mobile device so I do want to make that clear you can only use an Android device but hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and now let's go ahead and get started Okay, so you're going to need to have um, your keyboard and your mouse, and then you're also going to need to have your phone over here, or your phone or your tablet, and then um, it's going to be really simple if you have two Bluetooth devices, as I have over here, and if you have two Bluetooth devices, all you got to do is just turn them on to pairing mode, pair the devices, and then um, once you do that, you're going to be all set. Um, and then if you do have a wired um, mouse or keyboard, but maybe both of them are wired or just one of them are wired, you're going to need to have a dongle. So um, you're going to need to have one that will plug in in your specific port of your phone. So um, in my case, it's going to be USB-C. Some have micro USB. But find out what port your phone has and then you can put it in a dongle and then make sure the dongle um, has the respective amount of wired device ports I have and make sure you know what port the wired device um, plugs into so in my case my wired devices are both USB-A that's like the most common but some may have to plug into USB-C so you're gonna have to have a dongle which you can plug um, plug into your phone and then you plug in your keyboard and phone I mean your keyboard and your mouse into if you do have wireless ones, but if you have wireless ones, that's in which I'll show you in this video, um, it will be way more simple. So, um, to get everything set up, you're just gonna have to turn on Bluetooth and then just connect all your devices. So, I'll go ahead and get them connected and then I'll move on to the next. Once you have the devices connected, you should see a cursor on the screen whenever you move your phone. So, you'll be able to see that right here. I'm gonna, it's a little hard for me to copy it because it's on the, I'm looking through the camera screen. But yeah, you can move your mouse around and you'll see a cursor telling you where the mouse is at. You can click on different things and I'll show you what it's like when you play a game. Um, and then you can use your keyboards to your keyboard to walk around. So I'm gonna go ahead and join Roblox real quick. Oops, I oh wait, I have it like this. Okay, there you go. Then just click on play. And as I did say some Roblox games that you can use. And the reason I said that is because you cannot use them all. So um, you can only use certain Roblox games to um, play on mobile because some of them have a system where, well, not some of them you have to have a computer join, and some like Iron Man Simulator, you're allowed to play it on mobile, but you cannot do anything. But once you have that keyboard and mouse, you're gonna be able to do everything you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, pop my phone up so you can see that a little bit better. And then I'll go ahead and, well, I have to have it done here so I can see a little better. But yeah, you'll be able to click on different stuff. You can use a touchscreen whenever, whenever you need to. So, oh my God, the DPI in this mouse is too high. Um, click on there and then you can type in whatever you need to. In this game, I have to type in that, oh my God. But yeah, sometimes you're gonna have to use like a finger to do stuff. But yeah, and sometimes it's gonna glitch like this because it's on a mobile device. But yeah, normally it works if you're on a tablet. It's always better if you're on a tablet, it seems. But if you're on a phone, sometimes um, buttons can be small and stuff, but you can see it recognizes that's on a computer. You can see it has one on the melee button. You can click on one, activate it, you can punch. I forgot the controls a little bit, but you can see that you're able to use that. And when you're on mobile, if you're holding it like this, you can, if you ever want to use it as like a mobile device, you can use that, but you can see 
that I can't suit put on melee. It won't let me punch even. So yeah, some games I'll like this, and um, it will allow you to play, but you can't play on the Zen keyboard and mouse. And with this setup, you're gonna be able to do whatever you want to. And just play around and have fun. So yeah, you can, I think F is fly. And yeah, just super fun. If you have like a computer only game such as this, you can use this. Also, I'm not sure if um, controllers work on this. I might have to make a video for controllers testing that out. But yeah, you can see this. Pretty fun, you can fly around. And if you have some other games that are computer only but you can't um, play, I mean, some games that you can play, some computer games that you can play on mobile devices, um, you can just plug in the keyboard and mouse and then you'll be able to play them. But as I did say earlier, as far as I know, you're not gonna be able to play those games that are locked to computer only, but you will be able to play those games that all um, that you are able to use on mobile. For some reason, it's a weird glitch I do have with this specific mouse. For some reason, on the other mice that I've used, um, I can change the the area around, but for, for some reason on this mouse, I can't. Um, but, well, I think on other mouse, mice, it was glitzy as well, but on this one, it's a little bit more. But, yeah. It's pretty cool overall, and hopefully, you will enjoy this. So, hope you guys enjoy, and make sure you guys subscribe to Two Kiss in a Pod if you want some more videos like this one. Hopefully, you did enjoy this little showcase that I've made right here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!